Hello, I'm Lima Alpha 6 November Charlie Alpha. In this uh, video, I will show Radione. It's a small transmitter and receiver for short wind. Welcome to the incredible mountains of Haukalifjell in Norway. At over 1,000 meters, this landscape is a breathtaking sight, a world of its own. Today, we're bringing a piece of history back to life. I have with me a Radeon R3 receiver and an RS20 transmitter, radios once used for secret communications. From this epic location, we will try to make contact with a station hundreds of kilometers away. Will we succeed? Let's find out. For all the details about the R3 receiver and the RS20 transmitter, I'm using information and photos from the amazing website, cryptomuseum.com. It's a fantastic resource that has everything you need to know about these radios. We've traveled deep into these fantastic mountains to operate these historic radios in the heart of nature. Up here, at over 1,000 meters, there's no radio noise. This clean environment is the perfect place to get the best signal and really experience these amazing radios. But first, I want to show you a little bit about the transmitter and receiver. Let's take a closer look at the equipment we brought up to the mountains. This is the complete Radione R3 and RS20-M station. Developed and manufactured by Radio Nikolaus Eltz in Vienna, it saw service with the Wehrmacht, Kriegsmarine, Luftwaffe, and the Abwehr itself. The RS20-M transmitter is crystal controlled and provides an output of 20 watts in CW mode, or 12 watts for AM voice transmission, across its frequency range from 3 to 14 megahertz. For reception, the R3 receiver is essential. It provides continuous coverage of the shortwave frequency range from 2.5 to 25.7 MHz, making it suitable for receiving both amplitude modulation AM voice and continuous wave CW Morse code signals across all primary intelligence bands. <laughs> LA5MT is already calling me. That's a very strong signal. I answer back immediately, confirming the call signs. LA5MT and LA6NCA. I also send our location, our QTH, here on Haukalif Yell, and report their signal quality as RST599. That means very fine, clear signals.
He reports my signal as RST559 with QSB. The signal is clear and readable, but the QSB means that the signal is fading in and out a little bit. His location, his QTH, is GRU. I answer him and confirm my call sign. I then thank LA5MT for the contact, the QSO. I send him 73, which means best regards in radio communication, and then complete the contact. LA5MT, this is LA6NCA. LA5MT responds one last time. He sends the letter R, which confirms that he received my final message. He adds that my signals were fine. He thanks me for the successful QSO and sends his final 73. The contact is officially finished. Well, look at the end. Thank you for watching my video. If you like it, please subscribe and uh, please write a comment below. Thank you.